What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And this Long Beach State basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Fall is in the air. It's 49er days. Homecoming at the Walter Pyramid for basketball, the 2012 edition. The youngins and the alumni alike putting on their black and gold and just enjoying the day. It was uh, lovely weather outside, and this homecoming meal brought to you by Naples Rib Company. <laughs> but as is the case every time it's homecoming, the real show is inside, and we've got a brand new looking 49er squad on the floor taking on North Alabama. Uh, brand new, you said it. So many newcomers on this team, you almost need a telephone book uh, to, to look them all up. This one we know, though. Mike Caffey, he's back. We don't even know that, though. That's a new side of the pyramid for that UNC game. But first things first, got to take care of these Lions out of Division Two. Uh, you know, looking around the pyramid, kind of hard to remember what it was like four years ago with a fifth this many people here, less those stands, and less talent like big Dan Jennings right there. It was a nice day to be a 49er, that's for sure. They moved the students to the other side below the basket. I think that's He's a great idea. They were really into this game. They were really loud, too. So let's tip this thing off and get it going. However... The game did not uh, mirror the enthusiasm. It was sloppy. It was sloppier than a plate of Naples ribs, JJ. It was uh, not pretty. Mike Caffey with the turnover right there. Five guard set producing a lot of open shots for the Lions. Twelve turnovers in the first half for the 49ers. And Lonnie Smith went to work with five and five in the half. It's 10-8 Long Beach at the first media timeout. James Ennis to the rescue. Dun, 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 dun. James Ennis getting more comfortable in that go-to score role. This back and forth, a little two-man game from Caffey and Ennis. Love that. And Dan Jennings is just a man. The rebound, the inside pass to Ennis. Long Beach pulling away. Six guys in street clothes, though, so you're kind of playing a who's who. Transfers on the bench, transfers on the floor, and if you were dressed, you got in this game. Uh, dang, dang, bang, bang, 11 points, three threes for Dang Dang. Also, Dan Jennings, just mentioned him, that is man's game. Woo! But he only played 19 minutes. Why? Because of fouls like this. Sometimes you're just too strong. <laughs> and sometimes you throw a guy down by his neck. I mean, I, I give him two points for the takedown, but obviously they also give him a foul. Kyle Richardson, uh, excuse me, six points for him. Yeah, he filled in nicely with Jennings on the bench. Chris Gully, though, was the story of the game. Coming off the bench, he was four for four, three for three be from behind the arc. And this, the last play of the first half, I see you wet. Brainford Jones to Gully. Gully did look great, like JJ said, but Dan Munson still frustrated with this team. Check in on the homecoming festivities, the most workmanlike acceptance smile I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it was kind of a matter-of-fact game, not really the highlight factory we expected to see. Rashawn Claiborne with a team-high 17 for the Lions, then Tyler Pritchard with the steal, and... Uh, JJ, can I get a defensive rebound? Can I get one? Can I get one? Smith with the unmolested follow, and it's a two-point game less than three minutes into the second half. How do you turn this thing around? How about a hustle play? Ennis, long arm of the law with a deflection, gully on the floor, and he's going to find 11 for the jam. This is going to spark a 16-4 run, and a spark is not complete without this. The flamethrower from James Ennis lit the whole building on fire. He's got to dust himself off after that one. Look at him get up. Extension, the finish, that's what you want from your playmaker. Ennis, game high 19 points to go with six rebounds. And Long Beach State, well, I guess you could say survives this sloppy game with a 10-point victory, 75-65. Next time they see that floor, they're going to be taking on UNC. That's University of North Carolina. This highlight brought to you by McCarty's Jewelry, here for you since 1932. As JJ mentioned, the competition only gets tougher. Their next two games are against USC and UNC. These 49ers are going to need to do a lot better if they want to come up with more wins. For everything Long Beach State Athletics, you stay right here, because this is GazetteSports.com, and we are Long Beach Sports.